to be notified when I post a new video. Remember, red hearts, you made it through. Purple hearts, it resonates. There it is. Green hearts, you work it on it. Yellow hearts, you rock on me. Got my six. Mean to have my back because I have yours. Oh, it's me, Phoenix, if you did not know. So, there you have it. Um, we are going to pull from the Yin and Yang Oracle to see what the energy is. And then we will go ahead and do a little bit of clarifying, doing a little evaluation. The goal for these reads are to learn from the past energies, not to take the past and run with it, to understand that memories are there, but we have to release them and let go and learn from them. And that is kind of how the reads go. And so that's what came out. Memories are here again. Limitations and fears. Yeah, the past causes fears and the future causes anxiety. So living in the present moment, whether it sounds easy, it's hard to do. We just have to take it minute by minute, hour by hour, and know that that it's some things that we just can't control, but we can control our thoughts, especially when it causes triggers and heartbreak and conflict and disharmony. Um, yeah, and there's there seems like there's no balance in your life. Um, the justice, karma, and balance goes in the reverse. And so this is about gaining your strength when it comes to certain situations, gaining your strength. So there you have it. Um, yeah. I can't stress enough to please like, share, and subscribe, and hit the bell notification. It's getting um, my videos out there. It has been something, but you know what? You just keep going. Keep on rising to the top. I think that's what I say. Give it all you got. Give it all you got. Give it all you got. Ain't no half-stepping, right? And so you can't be afraid and also wanting and longing for a situation to change you have to either put it in the hands of the universe and understand that triggers will come um, the conflict will come there will be disharmony there'll be hurtful energies there'll be all type of type of energies you just have to keep on rising to the top give it all you got right so longing wistful and then homesick so at some point you released uh, uh, some type of energy that was causing you limitations and um, causing you to have to focus like to really focus on your fears and your triggers and feeling like you were um, um, you know just it was just too much conflict in there and so that's the reason why you had to kind of let certain energies go and move forward and so with having a lack of balance there you will just keep longing and sitting and waiting for things to change but you have to be the change that you want to see these reads keep coming out the same way uh whether i use the same cards or i change them yeah psycho crazy ex you know obsessed and won't let go um heartbreak yeah they won't let go you won't let go the heartbreak is there for both of you but who is actually dealing with it who is actually healing from it and that's when you have to actually take Take it upon yourself to recognize your fears, to understand where the conflict is coming in at. You know, it's like ego is involved in certain situations, whether you believe it or not. You know, bad news came sideways. It came like that. So the bad news is, is that it's hard to deal with. Um, and they're, you know, they feel the same way you feel. But again, when ego is involved, the only thing you can do is, uh, you know, um, reject the situation. Um, which is where they, you know, won't speak their mind. You won't speak your mind. So who's winning in this situation? But the bad news comes when it's just like, okay, wait, wait, what? Cancer did what? Cancer's moving on with who? You're rejecting the situation because you're empowering yourself and you're recognizing your strength. And meanwhile, this person is in the background like, yeah, I'm obsessed and cancer is always going to be mine. Even though you guys feel the same way, you decide to do things a different way um, for peace within yourself. And always remember how you felt about this person, this individual, when, you know, again, this person just won't let go of the energy of you moving on. You know, and so everything is always your fault. You rejected them. You know, you re you rejected them, even though you were afraid to and to uh, grow in order to grow. And so you could have been terrified to do this. And, you know, you could have felt the same exact way, but the, your actions are a little bit different than what theirs are. So I'm going to pull from the purposeful career deck because, again, 
you have to work on something. You might get this money, baby. You might as well get that money. Then um, instead of you sitting there on the couch, gaining weight, eating, getting fat, not going out. Yeah, assistance and traveler. So it says there are some resources you have overlooked that would help you resolve your financial issues. Someone is willing to help you recover. So that's what you're trying to do is recover from the sadness. Again, sitting here is not going to get you anywhere. You know, you have to surrender, let go and purge the negative energy, but also heal from it at the same time. Not be afraid to understand that there's going to be rejections. There are going to be all types of energies, but you just have to keep moving forward. And it says, uh, traveler, there is an opportunity for you to travel for work or business. You might be attending a convention or a training that will enhance your skills. And so, again, traveler assistance, those type of things are, oh, I hit my hand on the microphone but those are the type of things that you have to do to keep moving because that's where you meet the people who complete you and you know even though they're messed up over you they have to deal with the same things that you have to deal with, that you had to deal with you know them being obsessed and mad because you rejected them they broke your heart and so them hearing you move on and you moving forward and you're smiling and having a good time well that's totally because they screwed up. And, you know, uh, assistance could be from the universe. It just could be telling you to get up and move forward. It could be saying, you know what, it's time for change. It's time for you to, you know, really stop dwelling on this situation and to move forward. And you have to be the one to be able to maintain or to uh, think about what triggers you and think about your fears and say, you know what, I'm afraid and I'm, I, you know, and I'm limiting myself because I'm waiting for somebody to change. But again, always they say you have to be the change that you want to see. And that is a, a hard thing to hear because it's like, yeah, easier said than done. You've never been in my situation. You don't know and you've never loved so-and-so like this or you never felt like this about a person. But you know what? The thing is, is that change also happens. And like Rafiki says, you either run from it or you learn from it. And at this point, there's a turning point turning point and perfectly imperfect so you knew that this person was perfect for you um when i get this card it always reminds me of um, kevin gates perfect imperfection what is it uh perfect and well, wait perfect imperfection i think that's the name of the song but protective keeps coming out and uh like all of these reads that i've been doing the bottom of the deck um it says this relationship will will feel feel protected and it, this is a relationship you will feel protected and safe. Both of you will love each other immensely that, uh, that you will fear losing one another. So this person is messed up because they realized that they messed up. And now at one point you felt that way and now they feel this way. But it says perfectly imperfect. It says, the and this is by potential, feeling potential, feeling like this could be us, but you're tripping and waiting and waiting and waiting. And then all of a sudden the universe is like, I, w I watched something the other day, uh, or excuse me, it was earlier today, where the girl said that she worked in the um, in a strip club or as a bottle girl, and she said it felt like one day she just you know had her outfit on, and she one day she just uh, came in there and she was saying something about um, she just felt like it was like so much negative energy inside of there she listened to the song she saw the people she saw this and she says sometimes the universe has a way of getting you or having you see things at some point to where you have to no other choice but to leave and that's what she said she did but anyway that can resonate with someone but the love you have for them allow uh, excuse me the love you have for them allow you to accept their flaws and accept them for exactly as they are without um trying to change them and that is the thing you weren't trying to change them but at some point it's become it come it becomes karmic you know and so with that being said it says you realize there is no easy way out of this karmic love but you're beginning to take your power back and make those long overdue changes and so that is why i say this might be you changing but they're upset with you because you decided to change you reached this turning point of this is toxic i have to understand what is triggering me and why i keep understanding that you're perfect to me but i'm never going to be perfect to you until i just figure out what it is and become perfect for myself you know become that that person and that protective person 
for myself because I protected this relationship. And so the only thing you can do is ask for assistance and also move forward. Traveling, like I said, could be chariot type energy and move forward because right now there's no balance and there's only like uh, negative energy around you. So that is kind of how I see that energy. Um, I am going to pull from, I'll pull from regular tarot. Let's see, yeah. I'll pull from, not regular tarot, but this is a tarot deck, and I don't know the name of it. But, yeah, you just have to be the one to, and this is how it's all going to happen, Cancer. You have the, you projected these energies about how this person has the ability to change because you see that their potential in, in what they are, let me say, you see the potential in the things that, um, you want from them or you think that they're capable of but they have to see it for themselves so you can keep waiting and waiting and waiting for someone to change and that that may not be the situation so let's clarify longing yeah that might not be the the situation and it might take 10 years for them to change it might take eight years or it might take for you just to walk away a year or two later which it might be might not be you know it make it might take for you to just, you know, walk away for them to really say, you're going to miss me when I'm gone. You know, for you to say that you're going to miss me when I'm gone. And that's what that means. Like when it comes to a point of, yeah, realization, they have to earn it, earn reward. They have to earn, earn your love. They have to earn this. They never had a chance. They never had to earn anything from you. But this time around, if there is another, a next time around, um, they have to be able to earn that. You know, they have to be able to earn your love. And at some point, it's easier said than done, but you have to be the one, the king of wands, to see something different, to see the bigger picture, you know, um, to overcome the challenges here. And this says defendable, goal-oriented. You have to be the one to set the goals and to set the boundaries moving forward. And that's the realization that you have to have with any situation. You have to be the one to say, you know what, it's time to end these because a perfect partnership is not what I see. And this is a necessary ending uh, because, you know, we, what is it? Um, what is her name? Um, oh, gosh, she's a cancer like us. I'm going to say Ariana Grande. She's a cancer, but the other girl, the other Disney girl, um, I had to love myself. I had to hate, love hate you to let me go or love or I can't think of the name of it but anyway sun is growth so sun card comes out twice right the sun and the strength and empowerment the sun says unbridled joy you have to be able to grow from situations and and the death energy is here but the death energy says and this is what I learned when I was studying tarot so I always um relay back to these uh sayings it says the death energy um, embrace change and let go of what no longer serves you. Death isn't the end. It's a transformation that brings new beginnings. Those are the new beginnings that you have to have in order to see and be the change that you want, if that makes sense. And so that's kind of how I see that. Um, I'm going to pull tarot, pull tarot and clarify these cards, but I'm trying to figure out what deck I want to use. I'll use this one, the Intuit Tarot deck. Um, to see what the realization that you had to have or what they feel when it comes to the, your realization, you know, because, again, you had to be the one to set the goals, to set the standards, to see the challenges and to overcome them. So the judgment energy comes out with the seven of wands energy. It says licking your wounds. Yeah. Conflict avoidance. And it says compromise, backing down, make amends, um, live to fight another day. So this person um, has to uh, seven of wands in the reverse has to be able to understand that um, they need to make amends with you. And that's the realization that they're having. King of Wands energy, you know, again, overcoming the obstacles. Four Coins energy in the reverse, it says less is more, reevaluating their priorities. So this person had to reevaluate re the priorities. And um, it says release materialistic energy. So this person was very materialistic. And you guys, it's priorities. You wanted love and stability. They wanted everything else. So whatever they wanted, and which I'll probably try to clarify, is not what you wanted. And so they have to let go of this energy in order to have this energy and to build together. And so that is where that came in at. The Two of Cups energy, a perfect partnership. In order to have a perfect partnership, 
with you, it comes with, yeah, the two of swords in the reverse. Um, they have to pay attention to the red flags. It says stop, don't cross, go, don't cross. It says go within, consider options, decisions, and clear warning. So in order to have a perfect partnership, they cannot pass go. They cannot collect their $200. They have to be able to understand that this is the red flags and why you are not going to be willing to surrender to them. You surrender for yourself, but not to them because there was a lack of balance and the necessary ending had to happen. And that is where you had, they had to realize that, you know what, uh, this card tried to come over. I'll turn it over and see. Yeah, Queen of Swords. Yep, in the reverse. So it says um, the ending, necessary ending is like now you're harsh, you're critical, calculating, abrupt, gossip, scattered, easily influenced, and caught a vision. They, this is their energy. This is what they were. They had a clouded vision, and that's where the balance and things like that came in. The lack of balance came in at because, again, they were very critical and very calculated and abrupt rude you know and so they had to change that um i want to clarify the justice uh in in the reverse comes out with the magician they realize that you're the resourceful creator that they need in their life the master manifester the concentration the um concentration is that the resourceful the intellect you're the person the magician the person who is themselves and at the end of the day they have to understand that two of wands energy is lacking a strategy they have to come up with a strategy because right now they lack one and at some point you did but that's the reason why you were afraid i mean you were afraid now they're afraid and they have to come up with a different a better strategy they have to set goals and define their purpose it says define your purpose but this is their energy they have to define their purpose and make adjustments and reassess the things that they need when it comes to dealing with you if that makes sense and so again they have to change in order for them to be the change that you want to see they need to change, but it has nothing to do with you. It has to do with you gave them the benefit of the doubt. You saw their perfection in the process of them being very imperfect. But now they're longing for you and as you did. So it's like a mirroring effect of what's happening. And they're messed up over you. They're messed up over you because, again, you are the one who showed them something different and walked away. Yeah, you walked away. And so, therefore, that is what you needed to understand in regards to that. So I'm going to pull from the Show Me deck, but let me tell you, this always has a way of coming out to what it is that it says here. Um, so I always pull it last. When Sometimes I pull it first, but this, this is a really good read. So let's pull from the Show Me deck to see what comes out. What is the universe trying to show you? The past and the relationship challenges. So that's what it is. The past relationship challenges are what must be released. Damn it. I see. I told you I wasn't playing. So the past relationship challenges and what must be released. Hmm. So I can't make this up. This is what the universe wanted to show you. And that is what it shows you. Let's pull from the four agreements. If you want to know my perspective of the four agreements, then click the links at the end of the video. And then also for the chakras, uh, the Four Agreements uh, is a really good book. Uh, you can listen to it on audio. And also, I would recommend The Game of Life and How to Play It and Codependent No More by Melanie Beattie. Um, those are the books that help me move forward. So be impeccable with your, with your words. Replace fear with love. Replace fear with love. Fearful, scared, and terrified. Replace fear with love. And it says, the human mind is like a fertile ground where seeds are continually being planted. It says, when you are impeccable with your word, your mind is no longer fertile ground for the words that come from fear. Your mind is only fertile ground for the words that come from love. And so, again, you're not here to bash anybody. You're sending strength and healing, period, that this person gets it together, and you're going to move forward. The card that comes out is a blue sapphire. For the crystal deck and the chakras, crown chakra, third eye chakra, and the throat chakra, self-expression, wisdom, and clarity. Self-expression, be impeccable with your word, clarity, saying what you want, knowing what you mean, and um, uh, wisdom, learning, the sun, growth. It says, my actions are guided by wisdom and awareness. My actions are guided by wisdom and awareness.
and that is what you need to understand so please do me a favor again like share subscribe hit the bell notification to be notified when i post a new video remember red hearts you made it through purple hearts it resonates green hearts you're working on it yellow hearts you rock with me got my six me to have my back because i have yours now let's let this old energy go i now let go of worn out conditions of lack doubt hate negativity procrastination stagnation sadness generational curses debt bad energies heartbreak bad health and addictions remember addictions can be to a person place thing or a situation i love you guys